Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Josh and this will be the last video for the year. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the broker top five picks as well as looking at my picks that I have for 2021. And then I'll also show from the worst performing to the best performing broker, the results that they had um, in 2020 based on their picks as well. Remember, this is just a game. This is not financial advice. This is not opinion for you to buy, sell, hold any of these stocks. And uh, you can read the full disclaimer down below. But uh, without further ado, let's get right into the introduction of how the game works. So essentially in this game, brokers pick five different NZX listed equity instruments. Each pick has an equal weighting. So there'll be five picks and each pick will be 20% of the portfolio essentially. You can't buy and sell stocks during the year, so there's not as much flexibility around there. And for the 2020 results, the time period is from the 16th of December 2019 to the 18th of December 2020. So, so this is not a year to year end date, so what I mean is that it doesn't start from the 1st of January and ends on the 31st of December. So if you're trying to recalculate results, there might be a little bit of a variance there. All right, and disclaimer, this is just a game, uh, not advice. All right, so let's talk about the worst performing broker. That is Forsyth Bar. In 2020, they came in at negative 1.5%. So they made a loss of 1.5% while the index was up 13%. So there was a few serial underperformance there. So Sanford and A2 Milk really took a big hit. So they have underperformed the market by roughly 14.5%. Now in 2021, their picks include Kathmandu, Genesis Energy, Spark, EBOS Group, and Scalar Up. Coming in at fifth place is Hamilton Hinden Green at 13.7% versus the index of 13%. So they've done fairly well, outperformed the index by 0.7%. For 2021, their picks are Main Freight, A2 Milk, Ryman Healthcare, EBOS Group, and Spark. Coming in at fourth place is Hobson Wealth Partners. They have returned a 14% annualized return against the index of 13%. So they did fairly well. And in 2021, their picks are Serco, Ryman Healthcare, Spark, Warehouse, and A2 Milk. Now, in third place, we have Jardin. Jardin coming in at 15% return versus the index of 13%. Now, in 2021, their picks are Spark, Main Freight, EBOS Group, Z Energy, and Turnus Automotive. So, as you can see here, Jardin actually flipped their entire pick. So, none of their picks that they selected in 2020 were carried on to 2021. And the next broker we have here is MSL Capital. They have returned a 21.1% return against the index of 13%. And uh, the reason why I think, you know, this, this broker did quite well in 2020 is because they didn't pick A2 Milk. So all the other brokers that I've talked about already have picked A2 Milk, whereas MSL Capital did not pick A2 Milk and, you know, A2 Milk on the cutoff date on the 18th of December issued that earnings downgrade. So basically they didn't have to endure that pain on the portfolio. And so they're up 21.1%. In 2021, um, they have AFT Pharmaceuticals, Auckland International Airport, Harlan Group Holdings, Plexia, PX1. So the Plexia ticker has changed from PLX to PX1. So they have still selected PX1 or Plexia. And the last pick that they have is PIL, which is Promisia Integrative. All right, so that is a penny stock at the moment. So we'll see how they do, and uh, that'll be an interesting one to watch. And the first placed broker coming in is Craig's. Now, Craig's have returned a 21.3% return, outperforming the index by, what, 8.3%. 3%, which is incredible. Quite surprising, they do have A2 milk there, but that didn't have seemed to impact their results quite heavily at all. 
Um, they had A2 Milk, Main Freight, Meridian Energy, Eboss Group, and Freightways. So these guys were heavy on the freight side of things with Main Freight and Freightways. Those two companies did really well for them, as well as Meridian Energy and Eboss Group holding quite well in this uncertain year. So that has led Craig's to take the top spot. So very interesting results here. And for 2021, they have selected Fish and Pike or Healthcare, Mercury Energy, Main Freight, Freight, Eboss Group, and Ryman Healthcare. So they've carried on two of their picks in Eboss Group and Main Freight, whereas the others have been switched around. If I look at this portfolio, these are all large cap stocks. You know, these are stocks well into the billion of dollars. They should perform relatively in line with the market, if not, you know, even better or slightly worse. Obviously, these are not the type of stocks to 2x itself in the next year. So we might see that, but uh, highly unlikely in my opinion. So these are Craig's picks and we'll be monitoring that throughout the year. Now we have a bonus pick here from the Share Trader Forum. Now the Share Trader Forum is a free forum. You can go and check it out. And uh, basically these five picks were unofficial entries into the 2020 competition. So essentially a bunch of people like me go on the forum, we enter our own picks, and then um, the organizer will collate all our results and the organizer will show the top five picks, essentially the, num the stocks that have been selected the most by people. And so the top five picks for 2020 was A2 Milk, um, Bliss Technologies, Oceania Healthcare, Plexure, and Circo. So in 2020, the returns for the share trader forum was 25.2%. So that is more than what Craig's have performed at and also beats the index of 13% return. So a bet it by about 12.2%. So that is massive. Like that is a lot of uh, of a beat. You know, when people say you can't beat the index, hey, share trader forum can't. So watch out for them. And in 2021, their picks, their most common picks are A2 Milk, Pacific Edge, which has been rallying a lot. Oceania Healthcare, PX1 Plexure, and Main Freight as well. So Three of the picks um, from 2020 has stayed the same in A2 Milk, Oceania Healthcare, and Plexure. But we have two new ones, which are Pacific Edge and Main Freight. Now let's talk about my picks here because in last year's video, I gave you my pick. So um, let's see how my performance is tracking. So in 2020, I've returned a 25.7% return, which is more than all the brokers before me as well as the share trader forum and uh you know mostly luck in my opinion so the stocks that i picked was somerset harlan group holdings nzx z energy and plexure to my surprise the nzx stock has done quite well right it's returned roughly 57.89 percent based on my calculations somerset was another 49 percent roughly Harlan Group Holding was 1% return, Z was the worst performer at a loss of 28%, and Plexure was a gain of 48.6%. I basically just chose the stocks that I had in my public portfolio at the time the most, as well as chucked in Plexure, which was the wild card, because due to its volat volatile nature, and due to its high risk, you know, being able to potentially double in the next year. So these are my picks, and I have done fairly well. So going into 2021, my picks are Oceania Healthcare, Harlan Group Holdings, A2 Milk, Sky TV, and Plexure, PX1. The reason why I chose Oceania Healthcare and Harlan Group Holdings, they're my two largest positions in my public portfolio as well as my private portfolio. So if you want to check out my public portfolio, um, I do have updates at the end of every month, but the next update will be slightly later because I will be going away on holiday. A2 Milk, I've covered that stock on this channel you can check that video out here personally I haven't bought a2 milk yet I do see their share price at basically at intrinsic value but there's not much of a margin of safety and the good thing is if the stock drops I get to buy cheap if the stock goes up then it's good for the competition so I'm hedging my bets in some way the fourth stock is sky TV I do have a very small position in my private portfolio again this is a type of stock with a very small market cap 
and with huge changes just around the corner with broadband coming out in 2021 it'll be interesting to see how this stock performs so i've just put this in as a wild card and last stock that i have here is plexia now plexia also another wild card in my opinion going into 2021 and i recently made a video on this so if you would like to know my opinions on plexia be sure to check that video out here now my results here will be slightly different from the results from the share trade of forum results because the share trade of forum they look at the year to year end dates so they compare it from the 31st of December 2019 and calculating the results all the way to the 31st of December 2020. So I'm recording this video on the 27th of December there's still a few days in 2020 but if you exclude the two weeks from 2019 then my results aren't as spectacular. So the reasons why you know my performance is better than expected was you know timing and also luck and uh, this is nothing to show on my testament to stock picking because um, you know I think this is a coin flip when you're looking you know just one year ahead and the stocks that I picked for 2021 um, some of them are coin flip stocks some of them are, are more stable stocks that I think will do well in the long term so don't treat this as any specific advice or anything all right so uh, take this with a little bit of lightheartedness this is just a game so going into 2021, these are the most picked stocks by the brokers. So we have Ebos Group and Main Freight getting picked four times out of the six. We have A2 Milk getting picked three times. Plexia, Ryman and Spark getting picked twice. Personally, I do have two stocks on that list, which is A2 Milk and PX1 for my 2021 picks. All right, so we'll see how this goes and yeah, we'll we'll continue to monitor this competition quite closely. So these are the top picks for 2021. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a comment down below on your five picks for the year and also leave an entry in the Share Trader forum if you want to. Um, so that you, you can have your results tracked throughout the year. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a very happy new year. And I will see you in 2021. Until next time, guys, take care.